Greetings. Hi, and another volunteer recently spent uh, time over a couple days in an observation booth at the Washoe County Registrar of Voters here in Reno, Nevada. We were observing the signature verification process of the petitions that we uh, had signed in the area in the state of Nevada to get Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the ballot here in, uh, in the state. Uh, we had over 4,000 signatures here in uh, the Reno area, uh, Washoe County and several surrounding counties as well. And uh, a vast majority of the signatures came from Clark County where Las Vegas is located. But for the signatures here uh, for voters who signed the petition in Washoe County, uh, the county goes through the process of validating these signatures. You can see on the screen, um, you know, it's quite a tedious process actually for uh, some of the uh, verifiers. They were very well organized. They had a very clearly defined process and they, they, uh, yeah, the only struggle they may have had is actually recognizing some people's handwriting uh, on the handwritten petitions. You can see on, on the screen in the foreground um, a signature has been enlarged and that uh, verifier is trying to determine if that signature is valid or not. There were six uh, validators each day and sometimes they would get up like this young lady here and walk across the room and use a copier. And that's because some of the uh, lines in the petition, some of the signatures would be challenged which means uh, that either that person was not registered or the signature didn't match, or in some cases, the voter was marked as inactive. Uh, but because they signed the petition, they were then made active and those signatures would, would count. In the second day, uh, a, a different set of verifiers were present and they were also just as diligent and hardworking uh, in uh, doing the process. Interestingly, although we had over 4,000 signatures to verify, the state requests Washoe County to only validate 500. And so the total of the 30,000 signatures that were collected, only a small subset are actually uh, validated uh, by hand in this process, uh, which uh, must be statistically significant enough to allow the state to put Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the ballot here in the state of Nevada for the presidential election in November 2024.